Hello, everyone. We are looking at a very simple example here, uh, but something that we have to do very often. And I'll take this opportunity to also show you the advantage of using the let function. So when we talk about range penetration, essentially what we are doing is to look at the employee salary. And from that, we want to subtract the minimum. And then we want to divide this by the difference between the max and the min value. That tells us the range penetration. Essentially, this normalizes the data and we are able to say to what extent has the employee penetrated the range on a scale of one to 100%. So we will use let and we want to call the current employee salary and we want to say C3 is the cell. After that, we have um, the minimum. So we can simply say the minimum or rather the range minimum. And that would be the minimum of column C. And then we say the range maximum, and that is the max of column C. One more thing you can do if you wanted to was that you can say that the range is column C. And this way, we don't have to write min of CC. We can simply write min of range and here as well we have the min of the range perfect now the final formula will be very simple we will say that we want to look at the employee salary minus the range minimum and then we want to divide it by the range maximum minus the range minimum and if we copy it all the way down and convert this into a percentage, we can see that for employee number one, the range penetration is at 26%. So let's call this the range penetration. And if we apply a filter, and let me sort it largest to smallest, you can see that these people are at 100% range penetration. And then you can see the numbers going down as well. So very simple, but like I said, I took this opportunity to show you the advantage of using the let variable declaration, which makes your formulas much more cleaner in the way you write it and in the way you can explain it to different stakeholders.